All right, this video goes out to ten. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> but just having a bit of fun. Hi, can you please explain how to create a site? I've been trying and trying, but all goes to reset my password. I reset the password and then I go back to the same point. As you said in your video, I'm the first person in the organization to do this, so basically nowhere to go. Thank you. I can relate. I remember when I was like building the site for the very first time, the organization I was working for never seen tableau before didn't know anything about bi uh, business intelligence visualizations it was like excel for the last 30 years like i mean no 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 one knew right so i know exactly what you're going through and when i first did it it was confusing because if i go into tableau and this was like a video i had just done let's go back here so we have a nice pretty background if i go server and i go publish right i can do this create site thing and you know, it goes about creating your site and that's great. And then maybe you'll publish it and that's all well and good. If you're not too familiar with Tableau online sites, kind of how the cloud part works, check out my Udemy training on Tableau. There's like an entire section just for Tableau online, if you're not sure what that is. And the confusing part is once you've built the site, how do you get to your site? <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out because what most people do is this they'll go tableau right and then they'll go to tableau right so they get to the main website and they're like i don't get it right the way to get to your site is actually this way okay you type tableau online login because your site will already exist if you do that create site thing so if you do tableau online login you'll see this online.tableau.com it's actually a different completely different URL. And when you click on this, it takes you to the cloud platform. So there's a username and password you will see, but my one looks like it's logging me. Oh, no, here. And you'll see this. Then you use the credentials you use to, um, I think it's when you buy Tableau, um, you already get a free site if you're the um, Tableau desktop that you purchase, right? Can't remember exactly, you gotta check out the website. Um, you can use that email and password to get in. So I'm just going to do mine, All right? Okay. And then that's going to take me to my cloud platform, right? But you have to go through that Tableau online via Google thing. And then just, it's easier if you save the link. And what you'll also notice is your URL is reflected on where you've actually put your server, right? And when I say, where you put your server, if you're not sure what that means, your data has to go somewhere. It's not just floating in the sky somewhere, like randomly, it's actually on a server somewhere. And I think there are two servers at the moment, one in East Virginia and one in the UK, I can't remember. And there's maybe a third one in Asia or something like that possibly coming or whatever it might be. Um, and it will be shown up there as well. Right. Um, once you have your site, then you kind of go about managing it, setting it up. But anything you publish will be here. Now, when it comes to your users, like um, talking to 10 Baburg, right, because um, you're the first, a lot of things will be confusing at the beginning. Right. But you already have your platform. Then you go about inviting other people. So they're either going to have a Tableau online license or a Tableau desktop. Um, the Tableau desktop license actually belongs under Tableau creator. So the creator license will actually give you an online license automatically. So let me just show you that. Um, maybe if I tap Tableau creator, uh, here we go. Okay, so teams and organizations. Okay, so when you buy this one, this is the one that has Tableau desktop and tab and one, sorry, Tableau desktop and it also has Tableau online. Tableau Explorer only has Tableau online. I don't think it says it clearly here, but you do get it. Uh, and one creator license of Tableau server. So that's to create the site, okay? Um, in an organization, usually you're just gonna have one site anyway. And once your people have signed up and you've bought licenses, you've allocated keys and all that kind of stuff, um, then you can start inviting them onto your site and everyone does the same login, right? Um, they would go Tableau online login and then they use their own username and password and everyone kind of goes here. The way I like to think about it is this is like your online data marketplace. You know, if you go to the supermarket, that's where everyone goes to get their food, 
Okay, everyone goes to different aisles and all that kind of stuff, but all the food goes there. So you as the Tableau desktop creator, you're the delivery man. You're the one sending the food and the fruits and the chocolates and the Tim Tams and whatever it is you're taking there. The consumers are the shoppers. That's your managers, you know, your colleagues, people who need to get data. They, that's where they go to grab it. Okay, so that's kind of how you can think about it. Um, if you have any further issues or you kind of want to um, kind of go back and forth with me about how the whole implementation works, feel free to send me some more comments on YouTube. And if there's things that I think will help out a lot of other people trying to set their companies up, I'm more than happy to help and explain the story. I have been doing this now for, I guess, oh, maybe approaching five years. Now. I can't remember, but I've built the entire platform so I can relate to the frustrations you're going to be experiencing. So that's it for now. Let me know if you want to know more. And that's it. See ya.